I'm looking so crazy, my baby, I'm not myself Lately I'm foolish, I don't do this, been playing myself Baby, I don't care, cause your love's got the best of me Baby, you're making a fool of me, got me sprung and I'm careful seeds Baby, you got me, got me so crazy right now Hello and welcome back to my channel Welcome to all those who are new Welcome back to everyone who's been joining me on this journey <sighs> I have to catch my breath for my little Beyonce breakdance moment. So today I am here to show you the very few pieces that I got from the Beyonce and Adidas or the Ivy Park and Adidas collection. First off, this sale was probably the most complicated shopping experience of my life. It has never been that hard to purchase something. It's like, I know so many people had trouble, but it was turmoil even just getting these few pieces that I have. And let me tell you, I was prepared, baby, to spend probably a whole thousand dollars on this collection. But Beyonce, Miss Adidas, all of y'all made it so hard, okay? So I got the invitation to shop via the app at 12 p.m., all right? Got on and gave us 20 minutes to shop and denied every credit card that I have. Credit cards, stacked with money. Denied, 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 denied. Every debit card. Ooh, got me upset thinking about it. Every, every form of monetary money, the freaking nine, okay? I wasn't the only one with this problem. I talked to some other people about it. I went in, put my card down for my shoes. It didn't let me do that. Then I wasn't selected to, I guess, for them to fulfill my order for my shoes, which that was the only thing I wanted. The clothes were second to the shoes. Okay, cool. Then it let me get two pieces all right, denied everything else. I went back to the main sale a few hours later when they put it on for the general public, and I was able to get a couple more pieces. I tried again on Saturday, baby. Every place sold freaking out. So, ah, this this was so hard. Shopping shouldn't be this hard, okay? However, I did, I guess, get blessed, lucky, because I was able to get a few things, so I had to be thankful for that. I'm talking so much, I didn't even say something so important. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Maybe I said that part. My name is Amorous. I also go by Glamorous by Amorous. I'm always height, but not like this type of uh, angry height, because shopping shouldn't be this hard. Okay, honey? Um... Anyways, I waited till all my pieces got here before I filmed this video and they got here yesterday, like the rest of my collection. I was so sick yesterday. I was just in bed early. I'm like, okay, I can't let another day go by. So now I am back, baby, and we are, we gonna try these things together, all right? So jumping right in the collection, I was able to snag the oversized tee and I believe, okay, so this is a size medium, but it is a unisex piece. So I believe it's more like a men's medium, but it's, it's really big because I was able to wear this with no problem. So this is a very big piece. It has your straight detail, okay, Ivy Park on the collar. Let me get closer. Hopefully y'all can see that in the stripe detail, but it's all one color. It has a high low effect and it just, honestly, it just looks like you're playing old burgundy t-shirt, but because it's Adidas and Beyonce, this little burgundy t-shirt was like $45. Um, so there's that. <laughs> so the next piece I got were these burgundy joggers. I was really excited for these joggers. I love how they fit. I love that they're baggy. This is a large, again, like a men's large. So it fits really well. It does have the um, pop of neon or orange in the adidas stripes and i love all the pockets that this has it has a pocket over here a pocket in the back right here pocket here pocket two in the front and it has like different snaps so it snaps in the front on one side snaps in oh my gosh snaps in the back on another side so it's real like asymmetrical cute it's trendy it's like a funky piece i really like this here and this is definitely my style i know believe it or not even though i'm glamorous by amorous i'm tomboyish especially on the weekends so i love pieces like this that are comfortable and okay i did try these on these are 
mad comfortable. The next piece that I got was the Adidas in Ivy Park. I can stop saying that. The next piece I got was this bodysuit. <laughs> I actually don't know if this is going to fit. So I have a big old badonk. So I got a size XL because I want it to be able to cover my butt but still be kind of loose up top. So we will see how it works. It has a snap closure in it. It has a huge ivy on one sleeve, park on another. You can unzip it. So, I mean, it looks comfortable. We'll see how it fits on. So that's it with the burgundy pieces that I got. Honey, this outfit might go back. I'm not going to lie. I tried this on, and I know everyone's seen the pictures. Well, I mean, all, all the pictures, but the picture with... Beyonce with this on and I fell in love with this outfit. They should have made this just a custom piece for her because you know I put this on and I was like you know I'm not Beyonce and it just does not look the same okay. This okay let me start with the top. So this top jacket excuse me one one it was hella expensive. This was like $120 for this top. I'm looking around on the top now it looks like you can unsnap it at two different places, so I kind of like that customization of it. Um, I do like the stripes. I mean, it looks like a bowling jacket, I'm not going to lie. Now, this is a large, but I was like swimming in this. So, this fits like, like a men's XL, kind of. Like, this was really big, and I'm not that tall, so it drops down kind of low. Almost like a daggone sweater dress. So... I mean, I think this is a cuter fit probably for the taller girls. Like the way I envision myself, I'm kind of swimming in this piece. And I'm just thankful. I mean, if I choose to keep the jacket, and I'll tell you about the pants in a minute. If I choose to keep the jacket, I have to be thankful because I put an XL jacket in my cart, got kicked out, and the XL was sold out. And then I got a large, and I wish I kind of got a medium. So that's that's saying a lot because I'm like, I'm a thick jaw, so moving right along <laughs> oh okay hold on so i did say this let me let me recap here so your t-shirt this was 45 the jogging sweatpants i think they were 80 dollars the bodysuit was somewhere between 65 and 80 i can't remember correctly i do remember this sweater dress jacket was 120 and last but not least these pants were a hundred dollars and i know my card companies were alerting the hell out of me because adidas the way they ran their sale they made you check out one item at a time so it looked like like fraud because who checks out one piece at a time that doesn't make sense hopefully with the next go rounds with the you know, next items of the collection because this is going to be an ongoing thing. Hopefully they um, improve how they do the sale. I loved past tense these pants. I'm in love with the Adidas stripes in the front. I adore that. I think that's a newer thing that they are doing. I actually ordered some like traditional joggers and stuff with the Adidas stripes on the front. I absolutely love that. These pants were made for Beyonce or women who are taller these have like minimal to no stretch they are super long they're so dope though they snap so you can kind of unsnap them and have that peekaboo moment with heels unsnap it as far as you want these do not look good on i have short chunky legs and i'm not gonna fool myself like these do not look good on i think these will look so bomb on someone with longer leaner legs but you still have to have a little bit of a butt um but not too much because these don't stretch so for a hundred dollars I'm not going to keep it just because I love Beyonce. I'm like just not going to do that. So these are probably going to go back. Mm, they're so cute though. And honestly the, the jacket might too. But it's okay because I'm still going to continue to shop the collections as she releases pieces. And I am happy with the pieces that I was able to snag. So without further ado, I guess let's try a few of these on.
thing to say. This was my favorite piece until I noticed it was so poorly stitched on there. It's right at the. Mm. I'm literally having an internal. Y'all are watching me having an, an internal battle with myself on do I just sew this and keep it moving or do I just take this back? Because there's no exchanging it. Like, there's no exchange. There, these pieces are nowhere. I love these sweats, man. I have no words. To be honest, I'm probably just going to sew this. I know how to sew. I'm probably just going to sew this. I love y'all. Goodbye. I have nothing else. Bye. Look, I had to sew that. This is my little stitch that I had to put on the inside to try to fix that hole. Well, this ghetto stitch. Adidas, you gotta do 